All right, let's start our world tour. Here we are Ooh, at the very first lot, which is a beach, a buildable beach. This is really pretty. I like kind of the fence that goes around here with the arches. And then it looks like we have some little facades over here. A very beautiful building. Oh, that's cute. It looks like maybe it's apartments on top and a store on the bottom. We'll have to see if that's like an actual lot you can visit. And this looks like maybe it's a house. Oh, and look, there's like a little a stone monument over here that's kind of cool kind of introducing you to the island i suppose this is an island right yeah i think the whole thing's like an island <gasps> and look there's like a cool little hedge maze what is it it is what is it remember we had like another one shaped like a snail or something before i don't know what this one's supposed to be maybe it's just supposed to be geometric shapes super cute and then here we have this must be like a, a little park or playground because there's one of the pirate ships for the kids and then of course we have again this buildable beautiful lot here this would be nice for a, a beach house or a beach wedding the maze looks like it's from star wars <laughs> oh maybe we'll get a star wars pack maybe this is a hint <laughs> it looks like a bulb i don't know it almost looks like a c like with a bow tie? I don't know what's supposed to be. <laughs> the pirate ship on the beach seems fitting. It does, it does. And then there's another little building over here. Okay, maybe it's a shell. We'll see. All right, let's move on to the next lot. Yeah, maybe it's a nice big seashell. Or fangs. <laughs> fangs, maybe. All right. Oh, there's the lighthouse area over here, which is cool. Let's check out this house. Oh, it's a lounge. Celebrazione di amore. That means love celebration. It's a 50 by 40. This first slot here was a 40 by 20. 40 by 20. That's a really weird shape. Kind of looks like a copyright symbol. The most whimsical of me shades. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Can we get some love for Kevin on board toys? How have you been? If they don't build a wedding venue, what were they thinking? I mean, you could put anything you want there. All right, let's check out the love lounge, the celebration lounge. Let's see what this is. I feel like you'd host the next Sims murder party here. Excuse me, I do not murder Sims anymore. I am, I am, I am, I am re something. <laughs> Renowned? Recovered? I don't know. <laughs> something. <laughs> Reformed. I'm a reformed Sims murderer. <laughs> I'm renowned too. The last Sim to get through the maze gets eliminated. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> all right. So this is really cool. I'm pretty sure these were all made by Game Changers, but I, I don't know if they released who did what yet. Um, but we have a nice big sign of the venue, the beautiful fencing. I love the little palm trees here. I don't think that's technically part of the lot. Is it? Oh, it is. I think that is part of the lot. Is it? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's part of the lot. That's not just like background. And then we have a beautiful fountain. I love the windows. The windows are pretty cool. I love that we can stack windows now. I'm not sure yet, Amelia. We'll see. That's so cool. All right, we have a silly little song here. Yeah, Thursday. Still, Thursday still furnish me if you guys want to do your furnish me builds. We have a beautiful front door, and we have a silly little song we sing when we go through it, and we have a new front door emote, so go ahead and spam it. Going through the front door, going through the front door, going through the front door of this beautiful lounge. Uh, my brain just went into Fortnite mode, and I was like, smash the couch. There's gold in there. <laughs> smash the couch. There's gold. <laughs> Oh, okay. We have a nice big open area here with singing. We have a beautiful stage. These are the new chairs. Very cool. The new table settings as well. This is super pretty. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. The red and the white look so sleek together. And then we have a beautiful bar here. Oh, it's okay, Leah. You were at an arcade yesterday and they had Fortnite upstairs. They almost played, but the room was overloaded with kids. Are you serious? Should have kicked them out and played. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the tables with only one chair are for lonely people. Oh, no. They must have had a chair limit because that is really sad. <laughs> Maybe it's for singles to meet each other, but then you can't meet each other when there's only one chair. This is cool. Maybe they have extra chairs somewhere. And then a fountain. A fountain inside. I love that. I used to do that. And then there's like a little romantic corner here where maybe you can meet some singles and have some, 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 I don't know, a love corner. 
test. Ooh, look, this must be VIP. <laughs> this must be like the fancy VIP room. Very cool. A lot of the stuff is base game though. I haven't seen many new stuff yet. Oh, cool. I like the glass roof on top. We didn't really get a good look at the overview. And then the trellis. I love this. It's nice. We got some outdoor rooftop seating up here as well. I love corner fence. I tried. Okay. That's, that's the new bar right there. And then that's the new um, champagne in a, in a bowl. And then we got the stairs up here. Probably another lounge. I think I missed something downstairs too, so I'll go back. But just lots of seating areas. I guess this would be good for a reception. This reminds me a lot, though, of like a challenge I did. Um, what was it? Was it Big Brother or something? I had this like house and all the Sims lived there. And the upstairs had like a rooftop bar. So we could... Oh, it was Bachelor. We did like a Bachelor or Bachelorette season. Oh, and there's hot... Ooh, two hot tubs. I wish those were a little bit more private from each other. But that's kind of cool. The double hot tub. That's pretty neat. And then a big dance floor in the middle. I don't know. There's so many bars. Hi, Lindsay. Good morning. Okay, Jenna. We'll see you when you come back. You're having breakfast food for lunch. That's the best. You're impatient about getting this pack very soon. I, you know, I don't think there's much build buy stuff in this pack. I think that's why. Especially for a big venue like this. Like, look. The, there's the new piano. The new piano is beautiful. And then we have a new table here. Um, I think those chairs are new. That bench might be new. We did a build by review. There was a decent amount of stuff, but like uh, not a ton ton. This is nice though. This is very well done. It's like simple, but it has everything you need. It looks very Mediterranean. It just fits in with everything. Oh, this was the part I missed. It was just bathrooms. That's good. There's three separate bathrooms. It's a really big lounge. It's a really big lounge. The windows and doors are good. Yeah, everything's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Put some hearts in the chat if you enjoyed the lounge, the 50 by 40. Mediterranean is the keyword. That's going to go to John. John. John gets a thousand seashells and all of chat gets a thousand seashells. He was so close. I mean, well, he, Roundlet was so close and then Macy was behind third. <laughs> But that went to John, and he's making fun of y'all because he won. I feel like it should go to all three of them, to be honest. I think you're right, Alk. That was pretty quick. Go ahead. Give it to all of them. <laughs> we'll, we'll piss off John here by giving everyone shells. <laughs> Since he said, ha. <laughs> Meg, you're a little late. You're a little late, Meg. <laughs> all right. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Go ahead and give shells to Round, Macy, and John. You're so glare. You're so glare. <laughs> yeah, let's piss off John. <laughs> All right, so we're going kind of in a snake motion here. So I guess let's go to this one next. Oh, the Laurent family. It's not the Lauren family. It's the Laurent family. Let's see what they're all about. Your internet's lagging and the video's behind. I'm sorry, Meg. Tough luck. <laughs> Some tough luck there. <laughs> Thank you, Morgan, for getting the gels. I appreciate you. All right, so next up, I'm not going to do the families in this video. We'll see. We'll see. But I really just want to check out the houses. But this is, whoa, this is cool. Wow, is this a single family or is this like an apartment? I'm sad they didn't place Dom and Cam in the world. They didn't place Dom and Cam in the world? That's kind of weird. I mean, they don't, well, yeah, they don't always put trailer sims. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at the beautiful arches and the new balcony, the new... The new, um, that's one of the new windows there, right there. This is well done, too. I like the trees. It looks like a lot that EA would have done, but done well. I don't know if that makes sense, right? Like, it looks like a base game lot done well. Not base game, but you know what I mean. This one was done by Hey Harry. She is a wonderful builder. That is why it's so beautiful. Hey Harry is literally one of the best. It looks like it, um, I'm trying to think of, like, what I'm trying to say. It looks like something that you would see in a Sims game. Like, my builds don't always look like stuff that you would see in the game. This looks like it was made for the game by, by someone who knew what they were doing. <laughs> by someone who actually knows what they're doing. <laughs> I like the little sky light roof there. And we have another little hedge maze back here. Oh, and look what she did with the lawn. If this is by Hey Harry. Uh, I know someone in chat said, but I don't know for certain. 
EA hiring staff to build a Sims house when I would literally die. Oh yeah, her CC is so good. I bet once you're used to using so much CC, it's very difficult to build without it. But she did a great job. What, one of the desert base game world builds? I'm, I'm not too familiar with those. John didn't say hi to me. He just said the keyword. John, John, John. What are we going to do with John? It's okay. Maybe he didn't feel like saying hi today. All right. This is gorgeous. We're going to start from the front, though, because this backyard is absolutely stunning. It looks like an estate. I wonder if it meant to be an estate. <laughs> Whoa, John said hi to Macy. Wow, he's so excited to see her. You can tell he's totally not just saying hi to a beezer. <laughs> the double scare case. Oh, Dad, I think your nurse is here. There he is. <laughs> this art is gorgeous. John said hi to me before stream. Oh, no. John went on to greet in all caps. I don't even think John said hi to me. John, I'm boycotting the stream until you say hello. Uh, hi, Rocky. Good morning. How are you? The difference between John saying hi to Maisie and John saying hi to Elk. <laughs> Hi, John! Hey, John's here! <laughs> okay, anyways. Sing it with me, guys! Going through the front door, <laughs> going through the front. Anyway. <laughs> going through the front door of this beautiful house. It does! Oh my god, it looks just like the front door remote! Oh, how cool is that? I, I made the back. <laughs> Thanks, Rocky! <laughs> I mean, you technically build in Fortnite and The Sims, right? I'm doing it right, right? Wow! Look at the staircase. That's that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. What a what a big beautiful house. <laughs> Ooh, like the blue in the living room. Again, a lot of this is base game though. I understand why they had to do like that. Could have been the new piano, but why does the hat wall look different in the foyer? Why does that wall look different in the foyer? I'm not sure. <laughs> There's twerking pig's girlfriend. Oh, cute. We got a nice little office. Again, all base game, all base game, but that's all right. Steph built this confirmed. I, it's twerking pig. Lor uh, elk, elk, elk can't talk. Hey, Kalino's here. Hi, Kalino. Good to see you. How have you been? Another super talented Sims builder. Holy smokes. We were graced by Kate Emerald and the Kalino today. What have I done? What have I done to be graced with some of the best builders on this planet? Okay, we have another beautiful living room or living area here. I guess it's a dining room. It's a formal dining room with a seating area. And look, there's there's Jerry. And I don't know who. <laughs> Whose house? The EA house. Someone said Sam, hey, Harry built this. I don't know for certain, but we'll go with that because whoever built it is super talented. Can you sing happy birthday to my sister? Oh my gosh, Rosie. Is it Rosie? Yes. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rosie. We love you. Happy birthday, Rosie. I hope you have the best day ever. Thanks for spending some of it with us. We love you and we're sending you all the positive energy ever. Hope you have the best birthday. Why is it that my one day to be at my stream internet struggle buses? I don't know, Meg. I'm so sorry. That sounds like super unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. Okay, we see everything here. We might have missed something. The kitchen, maybe? Is there a kitchen? That's, that's, there's a room just with a bar. We saw the office. We saw the living room. Where's the kitchen? Oh, that's a nice big bathroom. Is there, maybe there's no kitchen? Oh, here it is. Okay. I was like, maybe there's no downstairs kitchen. Again, all ba I you know, we didn't get things like new counters or fridges or appliances, so I could see why it would be base game, but all right, let's go upstairs. Ooh, this is cool. Very nice. Everything looks very vintage and Victorian. <laughs> I've never seen a chair like this in a bathroom, <laughs> but I don't know. I what do you do? Do you watch someone bathe? Like what's the chair for? <laughs> I guess when you're super rich, you just start throwing fancy chairs in every room. Really minimal base game done so well. It is done very well. Like, the rooms look full without being full, and that's super hard to do. That's cute, too. We have a beautiful chandelier here over the double staircase. Um, fancy, fancy bathroom mirror. Like that. That's for the person who hands you the soap to sit in. <laughs> 
That's for the bathroom attendant. <laughs> oh, that's cute. The little divider in front of the bathtub. I like that. We'll give your pet somewhere comfy to sit since you're not allowed to be in the bathroom alone. That's for the cats. The toilet has its own. This toilet, this toilet room is bigger than most bathrooms that I build on my own. <laughs> Just the toilet room. Ooh, okay. There's a kid's room here. Let's go into actual camera level mode or face level mode. Face level mode. Okay. So we have a cute little, um, dollhouse, the castle dollhouse. I know, very royal core. It's so you can sit and relax while waiting for the tub to fill. Oh, okay. It's for you to sit when you get out of the bath and just sit in a towel on your phone for an hour. <laughs> I don't do that. I immediately get dressed. That's a huge toilet room. It's a huge. Yeah, you gotta stand up to walk to the toilet paper. Oh, this is really cute. I like this. It's hard to do a really nice base game kids room, so that was well done. Are these the buildings from Tortosa? I didn't take a look at it so far. Yes, we're touring all of the buildings in Tortosa. We do a world tour every time the pack comes out. Last week, we did build, buy, and cast, and debug, and live edit. And today, we're doing world tour and house tours. Like a world, a full world tour. I sit in a towel on my phone every time. Do you? Not me. I'm like immediately get dressed, put clothes on. Wow, there's even a third story full of bedrooms. My gosh, this is like luxury. 8 billion sim. This would be a good place for a wedding as well because every every like guest could have their own bedroom. That's cute. This one has like a little office in the bedroom. <laughs> and then over here we have another big bathroom. This bathroom has a seating area with a fireplace. I get this one a little better because like the chair is not facing the tub. I, I got a big beach towel to wrap myself in my yellow shower. The family's on the rob list. This is a robbery. You stay in a towel as long as you can? Really? Oh my gosh. I get dressed in front of a fan. I, I dry off quickly. I stand in front of a fan to dry off and then I throw clothes on. Um, I don't know about buggy. I don't do gameplay, so I don't know if I'll be able to speak towards the bugs. But I do know that this is not the final version of the software and they are working on things until release. I would wait until after releases and get more opinions if you're worried about that. But as far as build by, uh, I haven't seen any bugs yet. But, you know, I haven't done anything really. So. <laughs> fan is such a smart idea. Yeah, I get really hot when I get a shower. So I have a fan. I have a fan in front of me. And I get out. All right. Let's move on to the next lot. Let's see what's next. It's gameplay bugs. Yeah, I feel like there's always gameplay bugs with every pack. It exasperates it. At this point, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> Alright, so what do we have? Villa Vina? 30 by 20. This one's a re rental. 966 per day. Alright, let's check out this. Literally nothing works. Oh, boy. Sometimes I'm so glad I don't do gameplay. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so happy I'm not a game player. Oh, Anne, thank you so much for the bits. That was very sweet. I love you to bits. And hi, Michael. How are you? Welcome, welcome. All right, here's another beautiful Mediterranean style house. Look at that. That's super cute. Uh, I, I play sometimes, but I like to build. I usually make a family, build them a house, and then move on to the next. It is very few and far between. I've probably done like what? Six, seven, maybe eight, nine, ten Let's Plays tops. And I've done, I'm even kidding, thousands of houses. So you can see the ratio there. I'm definitely a builder. Ooh, this is cute. I love the fence around the hot tub there. Nice, nice and cozy. You're eating lunch. Wonderful. This is beautiful. I mean, look look at this. Like, where this lot is placed, to have this beautiful yard overlooking the boat dock and the lighthouse. This is my dream. Like, if this was my view, this is my dream. <laughs> Jen! You can name off three Let's Plays. Yeah, I don't Let's Play very often. Jen, happy 15 month anniversary. Happy Monday. I love you so much. Jen, I don't even know exactly what day is your, did I miss your exact birthday? I sent you a card. I don't know if you got it, but whenever your birthday is, let me know so we could actually sing to you. I don't know if it's technically today, <laughs> but everyone please send Jen lots of love in the chat and wish her a happy birthday. I know this is beautiful. I think that's a slimmable world. I think so. But yeah, if this was my view every morning, I would literally die. 
I would do anything to have this be my view. <laughs> Alright, you guys will know what's next. We're gonna go through the front door. The dock boat is beautiful, yes. <laughs> Alright, sing it with me. Here we go. Happy birthday, fellow Jen. Oh, it was Saturday, so I missed it. Ah, oh, I knew it was coming up, but I didn't know exactly what date it was. Uh, as you can guess, I was holed up in my room playing Fortnite all weekend again. <laughs> so, Jen, happy belated birthday. I love you so much. I'm sending you so much love, and I hope you had an incredible day, and I hope you continue to celebrate your birthday for the rest of the week, because why not? Why not? <laughs> celebrate your birthday all month, right? Mermaid Raid, Mermaid Raid. No, don't, no, Kevin, that's the wrong song. Don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. Sing the real song. Sing the right song. Mermaid, no. Going through the front door, going through the front door, going through the front door of this beautiful house. <laughs> Everyone celebrate by changing your name to Jen. I'm Jen Lit. Okay, I'm Jen Arky. I think we've done this before. <laughs> I think we've done this before. Aw, this is really pretty nice little living room. I mean, dining room. I love the double arch into the kitchen. That's super cool. And finally, oh my gosh, something new. The little teapot. I'm so obsessed with the new teapots. Oh, Draco is so cute today. What's your favorite favorite summer key song? Mine's the dirt song. Really? The dirt song? Dirt, 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 dirt. It took a long time to write. It's very well composed. I don't blame you. Best song ever. All right, we have a little, a big, a big old living room with a beautiful fireplace and a TV. Nice curtains. When you get a pack, you'll move a sim here. I don't blame you. They have a whole room just for chess. They have a whole damn chess room. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. That's your favorite? Man, I think the front door. No, I think Mermaid Raid's my favorite. No, Mermaid Raid. Yeah. Mermaid Raid's my favorite. Wow. Oh my god. Again, this view, guys. I would die. I would literally die. Can I become rich so I can move out of my trailer and have a beautiful ocean villa? <laughs> that's the dream, y'all. That, that's the dream. New Steph Ocean Villa goal. Let's do it. <laughs> Who wants to give me a million dollars? I love two songs. The classic front door and the I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's another one similar to dirt, dirt, dirt. Gravel, gravel, gravel. <laughs> dirt, 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 dirt. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. It was a heavy metal remix. <laughs> I know. The teapot's great. You would live in the hot tub. Me too. I would just live here. Dirt song is just mermaid song rebranded. All my songs are the same. <laughs> Kristen! Hi, Kristen! Thank you for 16 months of love and support. I appreciate you and I adore you so much. Thank you for 16 dang months with a bippity boppity boop of your snoot. You are now a seahorse corn. You guys are so sweet. Thank you for all the love and kindness from all of you. Don't, or I'll donate. <laughs> You're gonna, are you going to donate to get Stephanie an Ocean Villa house? Okay. <laughs> I know, I'm such a good talented so songwriter. Every single song I write is so different than the other. <laughs> Certainly not repetitive in beat or words. <laughs> Hi, Noctis! How are you, my love? Okay, we got- Ooh, that's a cute little bathroom. I like that. <laughs> I, that's not my song, Michael, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, upstairs. Let's see what we have. Let's start over here. Another really beautiful bathroom. I never put windows in my bathroom, but that looks really nice there. You're playing Final Fantasy of the Usual. Love it. I played a lot of Fortnite this weekend. Ooh, look at the double beds. That's nice. I love that. Ooh, another pretty bathroom. So well done. Like the tiles and everything all match. They all look so Mediterranean. The bed with the curtain framing the bed. I never use curtains, but that looks nice. The little dresser in the cubby hole. We have a, a separate office here with a nice arch leading up to it. That's beautiful. You played the worst Paper Mario game yesterday. Really? I've never played Paper Mario. I haven't had the urge to. Yeah, that's the bathroom. All of them. I know it's not your stuff, but the songs brought back early internet memories. Oh, I, I don't know that song. I've never heard it before. Yeah, the light blue room, they're all really pretty. Okay, cool. All right, let's check out the next lot. So far, this is my favorite. Like, if I had to pick one to live on, it would be this one, 100%. 
And let's see what size this is. Villa Vina Vina is a, oh, it's a 30 by 20. It feels a lot bigger, doesn't it? it feels a lot bigger than that. Thank you for feeding Drago. You guys are so sweet. Always taking care of our little dragon baby. All right, up next um, is Piccola Luce. Piccola Luce, a 20 by 20. It's a little tiny house lot. It is. It's a residential world. You can live here. There's a couple vacation lots, but it's a livable, swimmable world, Tortosa. For anyone new or just tuning in, welcome on in. My name is Stephanie, also known as Simmerkey. I'm a self-proclaimed mermaid, obsessed with The Sims, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, and now Fortnite. <laughs> we are checking out the new Sims 4 My Wedding Stories pack. Thank you so much to the EA Creator Network for providing me with early access to the pack to check it out for all of you. Just a reminder, this is not the final copy of the software. Anything can change between now and release, so please keep that in mind as we're looking around. Vacation lots for your honeymoon, exactly. Why am I getting it in the first place? Wait, what are you getting? It means small light. Ooh. It's a wed is this a wedding venue? I don't think it is. Is it a wedding venue? Oop, wrong button. I don't know. Whatever, whatever it is, it's beautiful. I love the mint green. Again, beautiful views. This is going to be my new favorite world. And the reason is because it's very Windenburg reminiscent, but it's more Mediterranean, which I love. And on top of it, um, I love Sulani so much, but I feel like it's so island specific that anything I build there I feel needs to be very islandy. Whereas a world like this, where it's more traditional, I feel like I could do a lot more of like my personal style here. Oh yeah, I think it's better than Brindleton Bay. It's it's a smaller world, but just the views, I love the ocean views. It's very Windenburg reminiscent, but in more I don't know how to describe it, but it feels more my style, you know? It feels a little bit more my style. I think I'll love, I think I'll love building here. <laughs> yeah, it's a, oh, it's a good size lot for a wedding venue. Bernalton Bay is definitely more suburban and coastal. Uh, it reminds me of like a little sleepy coastal town. This is just like, it reminds me of Greece maybe, or Italy, or I don't know. I love it. I love it. My dream is to go there one day. All right, let's check out, where's the front door of this house? <laughs> I guess this is technically the front door. It's such a cute little tiny house. More vacation Mediterranean? Maybe, maybe. I would definitely build some residential houses here, though, for sure. I would definitely build some residential ones. All right, get those front door remotes ready since we have the front door that looks like our front door. Yeah, it can be both. You're going to transform this world into a kingdom for Princess Cordelia. That's perfect. You're going to have to wait to get it, but it's going to be your new favorite. Very close to one of the cities close to me. Very cool. All right. Here we go. Going through the front door. Going through the front door. Going through the front door of this beautiful house. I'm excited for the... Ooh! I knew I was going to like this one. Oh, finally some color. Oh, those blue walls speak to my heart. Look, the blue, the mint, the coral. This is a gorgeous combination. We found my dream house, y'all. I'm moving in. It's so tiny and so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Hi, Acorn. Good morning. Aw, the tiny little bedroom. Oh my gosh, I want to renovate this house. It doesn't need a renovation, but I want to renovate it to my taste so I could live here. Oh, it's so pretty. Tiny, tiny bathroom. Oh my god, you love the blue tile and the stone wall. Is there a second story? I don't think so. I think that's it. Oh no, there is. Look, look, look. You go outside to go upstairs. I think this looks a little bit like... I think like the house that I have that I've never been to. Oh, and there's another bedroom up here. So the house that I is going to go to me, that I'm going to inherit... I think it's like this. It's very Grecian and there's like a whole house downstairs and then there's like stairs that go up and there's like an apartment unit upstairs and I think there's another apartment unit on the side somewhere. Like my grandma built different little apartments on it so she could rent them out. And I've, I've seen a few pictures and this is kind of, it reminds me of it. It reminds me of the house. Very beautiful. I think I'm changing my mind and this is my new favorite house. Outside stairs, go to upstairs. Sounds like our old beach house. Yeah, so if you want to go to that 
suite up there. You have to go up the stairs. So this would be nice for a honeymoon because this could be the bridal, you know, the bride and groom. And then downstairs could be like, I don't know, their family. Maybe you can put a double bed here and this can pull out. Pretend you pull this out into a bed. Hi, Mikey. How are you? It is. It's adorable. Adorable. I love the colors. The colors make me so happy. That is Piccola Luce. 20 by 20. All right, let's move on to the next one. You had an awful day at work. I'm so sorry. I'm sending you so much love. Can we get some love for Mikey? I'm sorry, hon. Bad days at work are the worst. I hope that your day gets a little bit brighter. Oh, no. We're, we're getting there, guys. There's only four lots left, and one of them is blank. All right, let's check out Markovic Residence, a 40 by 30. This house paired with the ability to swim right at the sea is perfect. I know. Uh, yeah, John, sure. <laughs> it is. It's a game pack. It's a game pack. So you have to keep that in mind. It's not an expansion. It feels like it could be, but not because of the wedding stuff. Like, the world and things feel like it could be. But definitely nice for a game pack. I think it's well-rounded for a game pack, for sure. But, you know, an expansion would give us a lot more build-by stuff. Oh, cute. Look at the family. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. It's nice when game packs have worlds. It seems big enough to you. Yeah, yeah. I was afraid it would be like four or five lots. It's small, but it's not the smallest one we've ever gotten. Yeah. All right. Let's check out this. Ha Ooh. The oh, wow. See, this is what I'm talking about. When game changers make these houses, they are so beautiful, so detailed. Like all my houses, I know you guys think that they're not, but my houses really are rectangles with a few like pop outs here and there. This is nicely structured. You've got this building here. The double tower there in the middle you have the trellis there's probably a nice walkway then you have this and then the angled part of the house i mean that that is stunning and hard to do it is hard to make a house look this beautiful uh trust me i've tried <laughs> look at that holy smokes angles ea could never i can't even do angles i i can't even do angles <laughs> This is a beautiful little house. The old wood nectary. Ooh, definitely wedding venue. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. I would totally get married here. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is like straight out of a fairy tale. Look at the dance floor. These gazebos are stunning. Oh, look at the bar. Oh my god, that looks so good. Wow. This is so nice. Okay, this is my new favorite lot. Every time we move to a new one, it's my new favorite. Oh my god, look how beautiful. What a beautiful place to get married. Oh, now, now I'm remembering the nectar. The nectar in The Sims 3. God, this... Look how well done this is. Look at the roof. I tell you, some people are so talented. Whoever built this is my new favorite builder. <laughs> this one's amazing. The outdoor fireplace area. Love the back patio. This gives me vibes, right? This has the good vibes. This makes me feel like I was just transported into another country. Oh. Oh. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I, I think it's supposed to be a vineyard. Look, look how cute the little hat and coat as soon as you come in with the citrus tree. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, there's a computer back there, which is nice. Put on a little counter. Never thought to do that. I don't know, man. Some people's brains are just made for... Oh, that's cute. That's crazy that this is base game in the new pack, and most of it is base game. That's literally incredible. Again, this is like all base game in here. I've never seen base game done so well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous eating area. Oh my gosh, look, the table and then the little bench. I wonder, I don't know if the bench is usable there. Oh, this is literally a dream. <laughs> oh, what a cute kitchen. This is a dream though. Oh my God, how cozy is that? There is, there's so much you can do with base game. I hope the bench works with the table. I don't think it's usable there. But it's super cool. No, it's it's definitely not usable. But I like the concept, right? They'll still be able to sit there. They just won't be able to eat at the table. But I love the concept. Got a nice little bathroom over here. All right, let's check out the upstairs. Man, that outdoor, that 
outdoor area. This is like beautiful indoor outdoor living. Okay, so this is like its own little suite up here, sort of. I could definitely see putting a couch and chair in here. Maybe another little fireplace. We have a beautiful bedroom. Hey, Matt, how are you? Welcome. They can hold their food and drinks and still chat with people at the table. Yeah, yeah. So they won't use the table, but they can still sit there and eat on their on their laps. The staircase is pretty cool, too. Use the space in such a good way. I like the house a lot better than the giant one. No offense. No offense. I like this one. I don't know. Every time I see one, I'm like, this is my new favorite. That means they're all good. But this is just built so well. Like, whoever did this is really knows. Really knows about houses. <laughs> You're on break at work. It's busy. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you. This is your favorite, I think. I think so, too. <laughs> Every time we get a new one, it's my favorite. But that one's beautiful. All right. Let's get some love in the chat for the old wood nectary on a 40 by 30 lot. It looks like Island Paradise House from Sims 3 World. I miss Sims 3 so much. <laughs> Let's go Lenny's Angles. <laughs> the house would look beautiful IRL. I know. Whoever built this really knows. Really knows about house shapes. Really knows what they're doing. All right. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. I can see that one IRL as well. <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish I was this good at building. I wish I was this good. All right. So that was... Mark the residence. Okay, up next is La Copia Serena. That means, what does that mean? Serene something? It's a wedding venue. Let's go check out a wedding venue, another wedding venue. Hi, Splash, how are you? Welcome on in. Very excited. The Calm Copper? Maybe. <laughs> we, need to, we need to translate these. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You see that lag? Uh-oh. Game just got laggy. Uh oh. No surprise here. <laughs> wow. Okay, Matt, I'll play with you. I did some more quests. I did some of the hard quests. I found out why the Clombo berry quest wasn't working for me. You can't drop the berries in front of Clombo. You have to literally throw them at him. And I didn't know how to throw things in Fortnite, so I learned today. I also got a crown, uh, my own crown solo victory today. You got a crown victory for Brandos. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm up to 55 crowns now. Hi, Ice Queen. How are you? Hey, hey, Christy's here. Hi, Splash. <laughs> yeah, we'll play Fortnite after this, of course. <laughs> of course. I'm a Fortnite streamer now, didn't you know? <laughs> I My game auto-repaired itself this morning, this morning, which was kind of scary because I was trying to get ready for the stream, and I was like, what are you doing? Hi, Yaz. I do like the new pack. It, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it's my favorite. Nothing will ever be, I don't think, cats and dogs for me. Um, but it's beautiful. So far, the world is gorgeous. We've gone through almost all the houses now. Uh, the build by is pretty cool. I always want more, but you know, it's a, it's a game pack. I have to curve, curve my uh, expectations for a game pack. But for a game pack, I think it's really well done. And the clothes are great. We looked at the clothes in the build by last week, and now the world tour is going wonderful. Uh, the game changers made these again, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So that's why they're so good. <laughs> I hope this is just the standard going forward for every Sims game in the future. Humble much, right, Matt? I know. <laughs> You're going to repair your game tomorrow. Perfect. All right. Let's check this out. We have the beautiful fountain outside. This one's, like, so beautiful and bright. I know it's very easy to go dark with a lot of Mediterranean homes, but this one's kind of nice in the middle. Beige colors. Then! <laughs> Ooh, this is so pretty. Yeah, Michael, mine just did it on its own. I just loaded it up and it started repairing itself. I was like, all right, I guess I'll sit here. <laughs> uh, then happy two year anniversary. That is not a real number. Two, two, two. Thank you so much for two years of love and support. Being such a wonderful friend. Thank you for helping me in my channel so that I can stream every day. I really appreciate you. Let's get lots of love for Ben in the chat. You know, someone from Sicily, they taught you Italian. Very cool. I'm not Italian, but I'm Greek. Greek and Italian are very similar cultures. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Matt. My, ar my arms hurt so much from holding my 55 gold crowns. <laughs> oh, needed to take a break and play with some Sims. Someone else needed to watch my crowns for a bit. <laughs> All right, so we have... Oh, this is cute. Oh, 
that's adorable. I love the red and the white. And then we have the table for the bride and groom or groom and groom or bride and bride or everyone, anyone and anyone who get, wants to get married. I love that this pack is so inclusive. We need a seagull to emote. A seagull? Two? Two? <gasps> oh my god, this looks like the wedding venue that I built um, for that, the Chinese one that I did. Remember the little machinima I showed you? Doesn't that remind you of that? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Look at that shot. Perfection. I could also see this in like a beautiful wooded area, like an enchanted forest wedding. <sighs> okay, Matt. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. How are you? <laughs> Dang. That's beautiful. That's, this is so inspiring. And then look, we have the... Um, I guess the eating area here with the beautiful arches. I love the indoor outdoor living of all of this. I mean, so cool. Here's finally some new stuff. So it looks like all the new stuff they did really just use for wedding venues. Um, we have the table and chairs, the buffet table, the beautiful wall plaque looks nice with the piano and the barrel, just so cool. We have the new screen over there. Cute little seating area with the tea. I wonder if you could throw a wedding in Sylvan Glades. Probably. I wouldn't see why not. Uh, I'd keep the island chairs the same. Yeah. It is very beautiful. I'm done with AC, so I won't ignore chat anymore. Okay, John. We love you. By the way, you can ignore chat whenever you want. Also. <coughs> I'm sorry. I tried to give a warning. I didn't. <laughs> I'm a loud sneezer, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I should probably turn my fan off. I think it's getting to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> I think the pack comes out on Wednesday. I have early access. Thank you to the EA Creator Network. Checking out Tortosa with y'all. Checking out all the beautiful lots. Very impressed so far. Very impressed with them. Ooh. Ah. I can hear Here Comes the Bride playing. <gasps> Oh, that's so pretty. They made a stage. How clever. Oh my god, platforms and wedding pack. Mwah. Match made in heaven. Sneeze, this is how you can tell this is life. <laughs> here comes the bride, but going through the front door. Here, here comes the bride through the front door. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> here comes the bride through the front door. Go through the... Here coming the bread through the bed. No, I can't. I can't do that. You do it. <laughs> you must sing it. <laughs> Here comes the bread through the bed. <laughs> I'm toned up, okay? <laughs> yeah, the colors are so pretty. Very soft and gorgeous. We have a couple bathrooms here. Seating area. Another seating area. Another bathroom. Just ignore the front door a bit, okay? <laughs> Here comes the bride. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get a million hearts in the chat for this gorgeous, stunning build. La Copia Serena. I think we only have a couple left, guys. Let's check out the rest. <laughs> Here comes the bride. Don't make me laugh when I have a drink in my mouth. <laughs> I can't carry a tune. <laughs> All right, uh, two left. Oh my gosh, let's do the empty one first. Wait, 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 we didn't read this. Oh, okay, so it's separated into like two. So we just saw Porto Luminoso. Ooh, that must mean what? Like light port or bright port? Is she excited for the house or because she's almost done and gets to play Fortnite? But <laughs> Colleen knows me too well. Historians say Porto Luminoso's name originated when pirates arrived at shore oh my god just like tampa has a pirate history and attracted by the glowing tides the promise oh i was gonna say this almost gave me a little bit of sunlit tides vibes but i couldn't remember it too too much bright harbor okay uh the promise of trade and the invention of the fruit tart tart tartosa the fruit tart oh over time the village flourished and while still famous for its fruit tarts Porto Luminoso's real claim to fame is its self-proclaimed title as the wedding industry's premier destination of romance and matrimonial services. I love it. Princess Cordelia's boyfriend? The pirates? <laughs> 
All right, and then up here, the area we're about to go to is Terra Amorosa. Amorosa, I forgot what that means. A short trip up the coastline for Puerto Luminoso is the loving land known as Terra Amorosa to the locals, where fishing off the boardwalk, swimming at the bottom of the secluded hideaway falls, or hiking up the hillside to visit the area's famous lover's tree, any sim is bound to fall madly in love with the various charming site and historic landmarks of this lover's paradise. Ooh, a more island? Ooh, a more land? Love land? <laughs> All right, let's check out the empty one first, and then we'll check out that one, the pirate refuge. Refugio de Pirati. That's a pirate refuge. And this is called Via Romanza? Something romance? For romance? Maybe? The pirate's last name is Steve, I think. One of the families are other descendants. We should bring back our pirate meets mermaid let's play. <laughs> Where we killed Trent and the chat did it. The bleed be. They blamed me. Alright, so this is just a little park area here. Nice little lot. We've got a beautiful landscaping area here. And Via Romanza is a 30 by 30 lot. Justice for Trent. Still? Still. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. I want to I wanna get over there. We're probably going to have to go to live mode to check that area out. But here is the nice little park. You can put whatever you want here. It doesn't even have to be a park. You can put a house, a wedding venue. That must be the love tree right there. Roman Road, this one. Always justice for Trent. <sighs> Did you see that I dream of Fortnite look in her eye when I said it? <laughs> All right. The Pirate Refuge, Refugio de Pirate. 30 by 20, two by two. Two bed, two bath. Let's go. Last house, last house, and then Fortnite. <laughs> I want to see the waterfall too, though. Hold on. Oh my God, the lag coming in. The lag coming in. Alright, so we have... Oh, that's really cute. Cute little backyard. This one has a little bit more overgrown landscaping. Again, nice and simple. Really pretty. Cute little lot. Love the blue color. Loves in the air with this pack it is. You called the dentist for your fiancé and got some lunch. Hey, Morgan, welcome back. <laughs> I mean, what else would we do, Macy? All right, let's check out this one. Love the blue, cute little porch, my favorite door. Everyone sing it with me. Going through the front door, going through the front door, going through the front door of this beautiful house. There better be an ode to pirates in here, I'm gonna be sad. I wanna see some sort of ode to pirates in here. <laughs> Something to do with pirates. Anything, anything, a sword, a flag, a treasure chest. Oh, now I'm thinking of Fortnite. Oh, look at the little potty. <laughs> the little green potty. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Well, nice little more modern flair in here. Yeah, I guess it's just the name. That's okay. Cute. Okay. Cute, tiny little house. Oh, okay. Got a cute little seating area there and a desk. It, this is definitely a starter home. You can tell by the way it's created with the landscaping and the furniture. So this is one that you could definitely come in here and make your own, but super cute for a starter home. These are really hard to do. I think what's the budget? Yeah. 19,504. Very hard, very hard to do that. And then we have a cute little green dragon themed bedroom. Still no pirates, but I'll take it. I'll take the dragon. No, no, it's a, it's a base game home. It's very hard to do base game homes and include everything. And they thought of everyone, the toddlers, the children. Uh, except I don't know where the toddler would sleep. I would have put a toddler bed under here. I don't know if they were supposed to be because there's a toddler potty. But super cute. Let's get lots of love. It is. It's Drago. Drago is featured. All right. Now, I still want to check out the waterfall. I think to do that... We might need to actually get a sim and go over there. So we'll take my sim and head over. It is. It's Drago. <laughs> it's Drago. Okay, let's get my sim. And let's get her to... Wait, I want to click. How do we visit here? We probably have to go here and walk over there, I would imagine. Visit. You're reminded why you don't play Mario games other than Mario Kart. Imagine if you played Mario Kart instead of Fortnite. Macy, there is no obsession with Mario Kart here. <laughs> I'll 
I'll get in the car at Chonker Speedway and I'll race the track for you. How about that? <laughs> Alright, my sim self. Let's see what my sim self is. See if we can get to that waterfall. There it is. Ooh. Alright, let's let us let's pretend she's actually walking over here, right? So we would start at the park. Hi, Alma. The waterfall needs to be a hidden build item like the one from Island Living. It might be. I don't know. Oh, we're moving real slow. If you hit shift, you can move faster. Um, we have some rocks over here. Cora, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my god, can we get a big old shout out for Cora? Thank you. Thank you for bringing your friends over. We're checking out the new pack, the new Sims for My Wedding Stories. We checked out all of the houses in the build, um, in the world. We did build, buy, and cast last week. Today we checked out the houses and the venues. And now we're making our way to the beautiful waterfall. Oh my god, that's stunning. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. Stuff will open Mario Kart. Wait till people join, quit, and then start playing Fortnite. It'll be a distraction. Wow, this is way cooler than I thought. I thought it was going to be like the single waterfall in Sulani. This is stunning. I'm doing very good. How are you? I can't believe it's gonna be four years for me on Twitch at the end of April. That's amazing, Ben. Mario Kart. We could do we could do run a Mario Kart. We would need how about this? If you guys can um smash one of the goals, I'll automatically make the wheel spin be Mario Kart. But if you don't, we're going into Fortnite. <laughs> I'm gonna gonna punish you if you don't. No, I'm just kidding. Some of you do want to play Fortnite. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, that's cute. I love the I lo oh look at this one. Oh my gosh. I wonder if mermaids and merman can swim here. I'm pretty sure this is a swim over beach. I'm almost positive. There's even little lounge chairs down here. Look, there's a there's a vampire. There's a vampire. Here, let's get my sim self isn't a mermaid actually, but yeah, you can swim here. Swim, skinny dip, back float, swim around, swim and chat. Okay, let's swim around. Anyone can swim in a lot in this area, in this world, in a lot of the areas in the world. I love it. You need a place for your merman to swim. This is a beautiful mermaid grotto, isn't it? You're doing great. Today we made progress on the Animal Crossing DLC. Let's see if we can decorate my villagers home in the future. That's perfect. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but that's awesome. Yeah, the swans are really pretty. Uh, I have to say this is a little plain. I think it's supposed to feel kind of remote. I would have loved some more greenery around here, but it's super cute. It's just like a nice little mermaid cove. And this isn't buildable. Um, I don't know if... What's the cheat? Um, BB.enable free build? I don't know if that works here. It, it it does. So you could. No, no, it didn't work. I brought you back over here. Brought you back Mario over here. <laughs> Who just paid $25 for Mario Kart? <laughs> Are you that desperate to not play Fortnite? <laughs> Okay, let's do a wheel spin. All right, wheel spin. Oh, look, look. Oh, look. I think it's going to land on Mario Kart. Oh, let's find out. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, Mario Kart. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, whoever did that. That was very, very kind of you. <laughs> Thank you for smashing that Bill's goal, ensuring we can keep streaming full time, and playing around in Mario Kart. <laughs> It was Macy. It was it was artsy. Artsy, that was very sweet of you. Thank you so much for using your hard-earned money to appease Macy. <laughs> we really appreciate it. We love you so much. Hi, Joshua. How are you? Seriously, that means so much. <laughs> you want to see the tree, too? I don't know where the love tree is, but look, my game is definitely lagging. I see now. I hope the person who asked about lag is still here, because this is ridiculous. Look at this. I can't even do anything. <laughs> If I was gaming play, game playing right now, I would rage quit. <laughs> there should be no lag. It's a brand new save file. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you know what? At least it didn't lag while we checked out the tour, which is nice. But yeah, this, this would prevent me from recommending it. I don't know if it's just my computer, but this, this is bad. This is awful. Okay, there's the love tree. Maybe it's my PC. I doubt it, but who knows. 
There's the love tree. All right, so we'll end on the love tree. Thank you so much for touring Tartosa with us. Thank you again, EA Creator Network, for sending me a copy of The Sims 4 Wedding Stories to check out with you guys. I will um, upload this to YouTube as well. So if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for the another, another video. Uh, tons of Sims videos here. And if you want to come hang out and play Fortnite and Mario Kart with us, we're going to be over on Twitch Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern. Love y'all so much. The stream is made possible by the EA Creator Network. It sure is. It is. It's so cute. It's cute. It's just this, I don't know where this lag came from. There was no lag until we went into gameplay mode. When we were straight in build mode, it was fine. This is pretty, yeah, she's angry too. I'm angry too, girl. I'm angry too. <laughs> just save or remove the lag. It worked for my game. I mean, it's not worth the workarounds for you. <laughs> the workarounds are, <laughs> I'll probably wait to do any gameplay until